of July 10th, 1991. Grand Hall de la Villette, Paris, France. Two and a half months before his death. Miles is nearing the end of his world tour. He appears distracted on stage, wandering around listlessly and stopping to fiddle with his sunglasses. A possible cause for his mental and physical decline could lie in a long history of addiction to painkillers. I can see that in the late 1970s, following yet another hip operation, Miles became dependent on the opioids codeine and morphine prescribed for pain. Morphine is the legal medical form of heroin, a substance that he was previously addicted to. Opioids act by attaching to proteins called opioid receptors in the brain, blocking the transmission of pain messages. Like heroin, effects include euphoria, relief from pain, and decreased appetite. These feelings don't last with repetitive use, and it's easy to become addicted. 1975, Miles' apartment, New York. Following another hip replacement operation, Miles became depressed and reclusive and was living in squalid conditions. Miles gave up music for five years. He was tired, exhausted. He just could not cope anymore. On top of an addiction to painkillers, Miles had developed a serious cocaine habit. He was staying up all night long, prowling the streets, hanging out in this house by himself. His addiction could bring out fits of anger, as witnessed by his friend, Elena. He wanted me to pay for Coke, and I didn't have a checkbook with me, or I probably would have. So he got mad, and he took a Japanese clay pot, and he threw it at me and hit me right between the eyes. 